back to Sci Tai Tech. In this video, I'm gonna go do a teardown of this high voltage generator. I wanna open it up, see the inside, and see how it works, and see if there's any useful components for its salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I'm gonna do is take the high voltage generator and put it into the vise and use a hacksaw to cut it open. This may take several attempts since the inside is filled up with some kind of epoxy resin. As you can see, I have to make a cut that goes all the way around the entire device. That's the easiest way I find to open it. And now it's time to open it up. There, the plastic shell comes off, and you can see the inside is filled with this epoxy resin. Basically, I'm going to take a screwdriver and just chisel away. And wire cutters will also help too. And as you can see, I've damaged a lot of the circuit inside. Of course, it's entirely filled up with the epoxy resin. And the reason why the inside is filled up with epoxy is so that way it keeps the entire circuit insulated to prevent any kind of arcs that will happen. And any kind of arcs that will happen on all the components will clearly damage and overheat the components. And I managed to salvage a few components to maybe use not for intended use. And that's these right here. This uh, high voltage uh, ceramic capacitor that steps up voltage. I don't know, could use it, but I don't think I will because it looks too damaged. Although maybe, just have to test it. This one, maybe for the insulated copper wire perhaps. These diodes might work, but I don't know, they look too damaged. Especially the lead on this one, you can't do anything with. There's not much I can do with these components except for maybe this one here with the thick insulated copper wire, which is actually the thickness that I've been looking for. So that seems to be the only thing out of all of this. This might be the only thing I'm going to use. And that's going to be the wire that I'm going to use for future projects. So yeah, that's what's inside of a high voltage transformer to be able to put out. And that's what's inside of a high voltage transformer all of this mess, and this is what I collected. Out of all that, this seems to be the only thing that's useful. So yeah, there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a high voltage transformer, and what kind of components that are potentially useful to use for future projects. No. And there you have it. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a high voltage generator, what kind of components that are potentially useful, and how it's made. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.